This is my PhD in chemistry. And today we're going to be going over some of the basics in organic chemistry, including the main types of atoms in organic chemistry, including carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, how those transform into molecules, what hydrocarbons are, what covalent bonds are, and intra to sigma bonds. pi bonds, the differences between alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, and the ways to memorize them. A good way to remember this is with the A, E, Y, and structural or constitutional isomers. This will be extremely useful if you're about to take an organic chemistry class or if you need a quick review before a test or you want to brush up midway through a class. If you thought this was useful or helpful, please leave a like as it really does help spread the knowledge. Level 1, the basic concepts of organic chemistry, atoms and molecules. Organic chemistry is the study of carbon-containing molecules, and the key atoms in these molecules are carbon C, hydrogen H, oxygen O, and nitrogen N. These atoms bond together to form molecules, with the simplest being hydrocarbons that only contain carbon and hydrogen, such as methane, CH4, and ethane, C2H6. Which are both part of natural gas used in stoves. Other organic compounds that contain oxygen and nitrogen are sugars, and proteins, which are made up of amino acids such as lysine, which are prevalent in living organisms and can take on various shapes and structures. Level 2, Bonding and Structure. These organic molecules are held together by covalent bonds where electrons are shared between atoms. These single lines represent covalent bonds. And breaking them up, you can see the electrons between them being shared. Carbon can form covalent bonds with four other atoms. While hydrogen forms one covalent bond. Oxygen forms two. And nitrogen forms three. This property makes carbon incredibly versatile and able to form a variety of organic molecule structures, including chains, rings, and complex branched compounds. These covalent bonds are further categorized into sigma and pi bonds. Sigma bonds are the strongest type of covalent chemical bond formed by the direct overlap of atomic orbitals. Sigma bonds are the first bonds to form between two atoms. When there's just one sigma bond, we call it a single bond. And 
they are the longest and the weakest of the covalent bonds. Pi bonds are bonds formed by the side-to-side -side overlap of p orbitals. They're found in double and triple bonds accompanying a sigma bond. In double bonds that are shorter and stronger than single bonds, there's one sigma bond and one pi bond. In triple bonds, the shortest and the strongest of the covalent bonds There is one sigma bond and two pi bonds. Due to carbon's ability to form four bonds, which can be single, double, Or triple. Many different structures can be constructed. The simplest types of hydrocarbons CH only are called alkanes and consist of only a single bond between the carbon atoms or the carbon hydrogen atoms. They follow the general formula C sub n H sub 2n plus 2. where n equals the number of carbons. Examples include methane, where there's one carbon, and one times two plus two equals four to get the formula CH4. Also ethane, C2, two times two plus two equals six, so H6. Propane, 3 times 2 plus 2 equals 8, and butane. 4 times 2 equals 8, plus 2 equals 10. The next are alkenes that contain at least one double bond between the carbon atoms with the general formula CnH2n. An example is ethene. An example is ethene. With the molecular formula C2H4. Last are alkynes, which contain at least one triple bond. with the general formula CnH2n minus two. An example is ethyne, also known as acetylene. A good way to remember this is with the A, E, Y is alphabetical for the hydrocarbons, just like one, two, Three is numerical for the bonds. Alkanes are further categorized as straight and branched chain. Straight chain consists of all carbon atoms connected in a single unbranched chain, such as butane. Branch chain. Alkanes have a branching structure where at least one carbon atom is connected to three or four other carbon atoms. such as isobutane. Carbon's ability to form straight chain or branch chain molecules leads to the formation of isomers, which are molecules with the same molecular formula but different structures.
structural isomers, also known as constitutional isomers, are compounds that have the same molecular formula, but different connectivity for their atoms. For example, butane, C4H10, can exist as a straight chain, or isobutane, a branch chain. Another example is with 1-butanol and 2-butanol.